So uh, first of all, let's uh, talk a bit about the functions of each of the systems. So the parasympathetic uh, nervous system is uh, known as the fight or flight. So this is um, what is called like an energy liberating system. So this is when we get a scare or we are getting prepared to do something. Uh, the sympathetic nervous system are going to activate all these functions that allow us to uh, respond very quickly towards something, okay? So uh, fight or flight, and here we have a man that is running like crazy, okay? Okay. And then the parasympathetic system is different, so this is called uh, rest and digest. I don't think we can see it up there, so I'll put it here. Okay, so here it's me having a really nice siesta. Okay. So this is related to all uh, the functions that allow us to keep energy, okay? Rest and digest, and in comparison to fight or flight. So let's uh, look at the level of every individual organ and system, what these uh, two uh, subdivisions of the nervous system do. So first we're going to start uh, with the eyes. So the sympathetic nervous system is in going to increase the diameter of the pupil. Then when we go to the mouth, uh, this is going to activate the secretion of saliva that is going to be a thick saliva that is going to be very rich in enzymes and, and mucus. Then we have here uh, the hair and the skin. So this is going to activate something that is called uh, the pilus erection. So these are basically the ghost pumps. Uh, so when our uh, hair individually uh, comes up, right, and gets uh, like super erect and because you're feeling like a cold or something, right? Then uh, when we go here into the lungs, this is uh, going to increase the diameter of the bronchi. So this is going to increase uh, respiration and oxygenation. Then when we go into the heart and the circulation, the sympathetic nervous system is going to increase the heart rate and frequency. So it's going to increase the number of heartbeats per minute and this is going to allow for a better uh, or increased uh, blood flow. And then uh, when we go into the circulation system, into the circulatory system, this is going to decrease the diameter of arteries and also is going to increase the diameter of certain arteries that are um, needed for vital, uh, for vital, um, by, by vital functions. So for example, it's going to increase the uh, size of the arteries or the diameter of the arteries of the arteries of the heart, like the coronary artery and also the cerebral artery, right? And also is going to decrease the diameter of the veins. Okay, so all of these, what it's going to do is, is going to increase the blood pressure, okay? Then we go into the kidney. So in the kidney, this is going to activate the secretion of adrenaline. And also is going to activate the secretion of another hormone that is called renin. Okay, so the renin, we are going to look at it more in detail when we talk about um, the blood filtration in the kidney. So by activating renin, at the end, we are going to retain a lot of water, okay? Then we go to the stomach, and this is going to inactivate uh, the mobility. And inactivate digestion. 
controlling the secretion of the different enzymes that are used uh, for the digestion. And then we go to the, pancre to the pancreas, and in the pancreas, we are going to activate the secretion of glucose, and inactivate the secretion of insulin, because we want to increase the levels of glucose so we can use that glucose to respond very quickly to the stimuli that is generating this uh, sympathetic, uh, sy sympathetic stimulation, okay? And then, uh, here, uh, when we go into the bladder, so into the bladder, this is going to uh, release, so it's going to increase relaxation of the bladder, And in terms of the reproductive organs, this is going to activate ejaculation. In the case of uh, the male uh, reproductive organs, or in the case of the female organs, is going uh, to increase uh, the uh, uterus contractions. Okay. So, uh, in general, all these uh, different responses to the sympathetic activation are going to be driven to this fight or flight impulse, okay? To the liberation of energy so we can act very quickly to an external outburst. Then we are going to go to the parasympathetic system now. So the parasympathetic is uh, kind of the opposite, right? So in here, we don't want to liberate energy. We want just to keep energy because we're quiet. We are having our siesta, we're nap. Uh, so we just want to be very efficient in the way that we uh, consume energy. So in here, uh, this is going to also increase the secretion of saliva. But this saliva here is different. So this is going to be not a thick saliva, but it's going to be thin saliva, okay? Then uh, when we go, uh, for example, to uh, the lungs, it's going to decrease the, um, uh, the diameter of the bronchi. And then when we go uh, to the circulation and the heart system is going to increase, uh, so it's going to decrease heart rate. And it's also going to increase the diameter of, of arteries. Okay, so by increasing uh, the size or the diameter of the arteries, we are the thickness of the arteries, we are going to be able to uh, decrease our heart rate, right? Because we are going to also be able to bring our blood pressure down. Then uh, we go into uh, the kidneys. So uh, let's go uh, to uh, the um, gastrointestinal system and here the intestine. So this is going to uh, activate uh, digestion and activate uh, motility. Activate motility. Okay. And then when we go to the pancreas, this is going to activate uh, the secretion of insulin. And then when we go uh, to the bladder, uh, we are going to decrease the relaxation, so we will get ready to urinate. And when we go to the sexual organs, we are going to have, in the case of uh, the male sexual organs or reproductive organs, we are going to have an activation of erection. And then in the case of uh, the women, the female uh, reproductive organs, we are going to have an activation of uh, se uh, fluid secretion. Okay, great. So here we have a really good summary of what the sympathetic and the parasympathetic systems are going to do, nervous system are going to do to our body. So now we have to go a bit more in detail about how this happened and like the different uh, neurons and the different um, uh, neurotransmitters that are going to be involved in these two mechanisms, okay?